See. Let's take a look at his roster. These are his money picks. He's got Jalen Ramsey, and there's prime time, Deion Sanders. Yep, those both corners. Jalen Ramsey can hit. He's really not known for that much, but an ultimate team, he gets big. You got Chad Johnson and Ocho Cinco, both with that playmaker ability active, and Aaron Rodgers with the conductor ability. We've seen him air it out all tournament long, and he also has a focused kicker, which could come into play later in this game. It's going to be huge. We'll see if that comes down to it on the other side. And let's be honest, I do need Grandpa Volt in my life. Any more motivators I can have, I need him. That man right there, number 27 from Massachusetts, a long way away from home, but he's feeling pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Patriots fan, young Michael Bryant, Volt Direction. You heard him say in his interview, this is the biggest game I've ever played. And when I talked to Grandpa Volt, I said, do you understand – the magnitude of this match. Do you understand who your grandson is about to play, being the greatest Madden player of all time? He said, not really, but it sounds like exactly where we want to be, and he has faith in his grand boy. Went 2-1 and one in the group stage, back in the challenge, but able to make it through here in the championship. Night Train Lane and Dion is on the back end for Volt. Yes, and Tip Drill is activated for Volterex. He has this Chris Johnson, who's usually 94 speed, but has the combine chemistry, which makes him 96 speed, which has allowed him to get tons of big plays in this tournament. Randy Moss, and then you got the gunslinger, Donovan McNabb, and that playmaker is not active for Volterex on that Randy Moss. Winner moves to the semifinals. Let's look at this scouting report brought to you by our fine friends at Xbox. For problem, it's the same thing for everyone when playing Volterex. Contain the big play. This, you're going up against a guy that has the most explosive offense that we've seen all year. He doesn't like to put long drives together. He likes to hit you with home runs with Chris Johnson on the ground, a home runs with that swerve exploit through the air. If your problem, you cannot allow big plays, especially for touchdowns, if you want to win this game. What does Volterax got to do? For Volt, it's something that he needs to overcome that everyone who plays problem needs to overcome. Don't be intimidated. This is like playing one-on-one -on -one basketball with Michael Jordan. It's going to be a little bit scary. You're going up against the best of all time, and a lot of people fall victim to the mystique that problem brings when playing them. And when I talked to problem backstage, he said, you know what? He knows that's the thing, and he said, you know what? I'm kind of hoping that that happens in this game. So. Let's see if Volt falls victim to that mystique of the GOAT. Well, the wait is over. The final game of the quarterfinals. Who will face Joke in the semis tomorrow? Skimbo and Spot Me, and Joke is awaiting the winner of this one. But, and this one will sail out of the back of the end zone. And the ball will start at the 25. And between the implications of this game, Coltrane, the fan bases that both of these guys have, I, it's fair to say for me, this is one of the biggest Madden games I have ever seen. And Volt gets the ball first, so buckle up for safety. Ball at the 25. And he goes to Chris Johnson. And that is problem. And bottling them up in the backfield. Interesting fact for problem. These guys didn't have a lot of time to prepare for each other. Problem yep. reached out to the movement, and he had his goons, Blocky and Trini, laugh for him all night. That's two good players. How to, very good players on how to get a scheme to stop that run game. So far, so good. It looked like the, the lab work they did for problem helped on that first play. Trini, one of the youngsters out there. We'll probably see him here next year. There is the swerve. And Randy Moss will walk into the end zone. Oh, my goodness. And if that's a sign for things to come, that's not a good look for problem. You would think the GOAT would be ready to click on. He said he's not going to change his pass defense, which means Volt will have that one-on-one -on -one all day long. Problem's going to either have to click on faster, be ready to make a pick, or he's going to have to run back like Boots did and guard that swerve because this is nasty. Take a look at it again. Dip in, dip yeah. out, and to the crib. The problem was problem ran to the middle of the field for no apparent reason. He started with that route, but then went away from an uncharacteristic mistake that we saw from Eric Wright right there. You know, we talked about it yesterday. You can lab as much as you want, but until you experience it for yourself, yeah, it's I, a different story. I hate to compare Madden to MMA, but they say, uh, Anderson Silva, one of the all-time great fighters, they said he was impossible to prepare for because you couldn't bring anybody into training that could mimic his style. 
When it comes to Matt and Volterex is just like that. You can't bring a lab with anybody that can mimic his style because he is simply just the best at that swerve exploit. Michael Vick was the same way. Colin Kaepernick early in his career. You, yes. just, exactly. you don't have anybody on your roster that can emulate that. CJ Procise will pick up two. He's been huge for problem in the group stage and in the round of 16. He's going to need another big day from Procise. Yeah, he's been one of the surprise players of this entire tournament. And it, it was weird because when you saw a problem go with the gold running back, you thought he was going to have a pass heavy attack. But he's been running the ball better than anybody since we got here Low at the throw. championship. Picks it up off the turf, RG. And there's a first down for problem. And when talking the problem last night at dinner before this game, he told me, he said, the thing I'm most concerned about is getting a stop. I don't think Fulter Rex can stop my offense. And hit as he threw. That was Ray. And it's unique to hear Problem say that. He's usually a guy that prides himself on his defense. But for him to say he's relying on his offense in this game kind of speaks wonders about Volta Rex and how much problems. Tries to go low again to Ocho Cinco. This time went off his shoe tops. Third and ten. Man. How good have the games been today, RG? Oh, this has been phenomenal. This is what the Madden Championship is all about. And when you get the best players in the world competing at a high level, you're going to get great games. Well, the crazy thing is, you know, you have all these leagues out there. This is an open tournament. I mean, anyone out there with an Xbox or a PlayStation can dial it up and you could be here in Madden 18. And the most exciting thing about that is this is the first year of EA's competitive yeah. gaming division. And think about how much money has already been given away, how crazy everything's been. And it's only, you got to assume, going to get bigger as the years goes on. It's a great time to be involved with competitive gaming. Well, we got a quick pause here in the action. Volterax with a 7 nothing lead, ball at the 44. Not sure. Just a, I think it's a technical situation on problem side. I'm gonna take a delay of game. Can you just decline it? Yeah. All right. You're gonna pause it. And so I think they're gonna take a delay of game. Seems okay. Seems okay. And Volt's okay with it. So I think they're gonna take a delay of game. Take a delay of game. That'll reset everything. Yeah, that's the start with a fresh clock. Exactly. Yeah, I like it when the players police themselves. I love the sportsmanship. Yeah, and these guys go through this type of stuff all the time, and they're high-level competitors. They don't want to win off of cheating or, you know, not being good sportsmanship. So a lot of, they all have integrity, yep. and they want to get it done the right way, which is something I admire about all of these guys here at the Madden Championship. First and ten. Procise. We'll lean forward to the 42-yard line. That'll bring up second and eight. Problem trailing by a touchdown here early. Let's see if he can respond, Coltrane. He said he can. He doesn't think Bolt can stop him. And there's no better time to show that than the open and drive where you can get early momentum. And Pro Sykes will pick up the first down. You hear the crowd say all day. Yeah, he's got the movement in full effect in this audience. And he's going to need him because that aura of Grandpa Bolt is something special as well. This place is packed to the gills with Madden fans with problem. Wow. Bringing the... Local crew over. And look at him. He's geeked up in his luminosity gear. That's his main sponsor. Look at that hat. I yeah, low, low key, I got to get that hat. I'm getting one of those hats. It's a nice hat. First and 10 at the 18. They go to Pro Sites. And he'll move to the 12 yard line. Second and five. This is a good drive right now by Problem. He's just walking right up the field, but we know this is the area of the field where things get stingy. You want to score touchdowns against Volta Rex Scott, not field goals. His offense is way too high powered for you to be settling for three. And the red zone goes back to Pro Sice. Third and two from the 10. Biggest play of the game thus far for Problem. Can you imagine if Problem was able to win this game, make another final four, add to his legacy, and take out one of the most feared up and coming players we have on the circuit? It's crazy. And he throws it low to Johnson, and Problem 
finally gets on the board. What a way to answer back, and would you expect anything less from the greatest Madden player of all time? What's going to be interesting is if he can get that one stop that he talked swirl. about he needed. Crazy. So we're tied up at seven after the touchdown pass to Johnson. That's easy, RG. And a lot of, you've seen that play run a lot from a lot of people out of different formations. You get one of your slot receivers or tight ends on a quarter route, and then you throw that low pass that's by holding the left trigger. And it puts it in a nice spot where it seems only the receiver can get it. It's a tactic that's used a lot here at the Madden Championship. If you're at home looking for some free pointers, you want to go smash someone online, go check that one out. Walter Axe has picked off seven passes, so you got to be careful that you don't get into a groove. And next thing you know, Paul takes one from you. Big head stick from Anthony Barr. And it looks like Drini and Blocky flew in some serious run defense for Problem. If you just join us, we're in the final game of the quarterfinals. Problem, number five in the world against number 27, Volterax. Skimbo and Spot Me are already in the semifinals. Winner of this game plays Joke as he had a 20 to 17 win over Boogs. Come on, man. Every game has been close. Even 45 to 28, Skimbo over Los. That game was locked up for most of it. Yeah, that was one of the best first halves we've seen in the <laughs> entire year, to be honest. Big play right here for Volte. But Fultz always in four down territory. Third and eight. Throws it deep. Tries to swerve him. This time. Oh my goodness, the movement's going bananas. Look at the legend reality. Problems, good friend, skills, wife, Belinda. And that swerve is cute, but when you're going up against the greatest Madden player of all time, you run a risk at throwing at him, and Problem makes both pay. And there's the one stop that he talked about that he needed, Scott. Let's take a look at it again. Remember, this isn't Randy Moss on the swerve. This is Hayward Bay. And this time, Harrison Smith doesn't get turned around. It makes the interception. Problem clicked on, didn't hold the button, steered the left stick to the ball landing spot, and then pressed the interception button at the last second. That's the best way to stop that swerve ta tactic and perfectly executed right there by Problem. Solid defense. Picks up the first down of Rodgers on a little scramble. And yes, when you're taking it to the second quarter, you might as well hydrate. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Not a bad call right there by problem. And you got to remember, he's coming off one of the greatest Madden games we ever saw yesterday in serious mode. That was an emotional game. It takes a lot out of you. Oh, man. Hey, he's going to run a play. Oh. Trying to catch him off guard, and he does. It's a first down to the 48-yard line. He's in plus territory. Caught, Savage. Caught Bold off guard. Caught me off guard. I was sure we were going to the second quarter. RG was already in story mode. Second quarter begins now. And Moss picks up the first down. He's just moving the chains on every play. And he's running that bench play, running those two corner routes out of the snugs. You got to pick which one you want to guard and go into that low pass. It's obvious that that's going to be a staple in Problem's offense, and he saw something in Volterex defense that he thinks he can exploit with that route combination. Back to ProSize. This time goes nowhere. That's going to bring up second and nine. And it's important here for Problem to make sure he gets points off of that turnover. You can't first force a turnover on Volt and not capitalize on it. So if you're Problem, you need to protect this ball and make sure you turn this into points. Problem will get the ball in the second half to start. And he's made a living off this RG. The scores before the half and getting the ball back. That's how he separates himself. Doesn't win games by big. Just averages 18 points a game. But it's usually when he can string two possessions back to back, that's when he creates some separation from his opponent. And he has the best mental that we've ever seen in all of competitive Madden, and I don't think that's debatable. Never gets too high, never gets too low. I mean, if there was a checklist of things you needed to check the box <laughs> on as a Madden player, composure, experience, defense, stick work, clock management, et cetera, et cetera, problem pretty much has a check on every single one of those boxes, one of the few players to be in that situation. That's big. That guy's, that guy's got. That's not the guy you want to throw it to. Henderson. Well, 
the big man with the ball saved problem from what could have been a huge costly turnover hit while he's throwing and look at big 66 the Grizzly standing up for problem got to knock it down that was Henderson his left tackle and there is a sack and that'll push him to the 32 so that's going to make it a 49 yarder from there Watch he has Chris Boswell. Yeah, with the focus kicker. Look how slow that kick meter's moving. There's no way he's going to miss these field goals. That is 100% oh, right that, where it yeah. needed to be. And that focus kicker is not cheap. Remember, you only have so much salary, and you got to spend eight salary just mm. to get that ability That's a active. And if you're good at kicking at a normal speed, it's completely useless. But problem has the experience to know that when you're on the big stage, here at the Madden Championship with a lot of money on the line. Kicking those field goals isn't as easy as it is when you're in your living room, which is why he invested in that ability. That just shows experience from Eric Wright. So Boswell knocks it through. He, that's the 93 overall version of the football outsider. And now volt has got a chance to go to work. Volt. Just trailing by three. Yeah, and he's very composed. And keep in mind, this is a matchup Volt said that he wanted. He said he felt he matched up good with Problem. Better matched, ma Problem was a better matchup for him than a couple of people in this tournament, he felt like. And, you know, who doesn't want to get a win under their belt against the greatest player of all time? He's hungry for it. Second and three. Bottling up the running game of Voltrax. Volt has had some tremendous success running the football, averaging around 120 yards per game. That's in the top three of the whole tournament. And I think a big part of that was he was the only one that went out and got that Chris Johnson, who has that explosive 96 speed. That's the fastest running back that we've seen in all of the Madden Championship, and it's allowing him to get tons of breakaway runs for six. He's been on his horse all tournament long. Mentioned before, Problem gets the ball to start the second half. So this is a huge third and three. Both competitors with three timeouts remaining. And he shakes free with Chris Johnson to the 37. When we get these face shots of Volt, I love how focused he is. For a young man at only 19 years old, he shows almost no emotion, which is hard to do, especially when you're playing at this level, with this much intensity, with this much on the line. And he'll move it to the 41, and there's no doubt that coming in, part of the strategy for problem is a bunch of guys up in the box on that nickel two blitz and just bottle up the running game as much as you can. Make him throw the swerve. Yeah, this looks like good preparation for problem right now, doing a decent job against the run, but Volt is finally starting to find some lanes. Oh, that's a good play. Great throw up the sideline to Randy Moss. Hauls it in at the 38. And Volk had his timing down that time. He, threw, he tried that route earlier in the in the game. Threw it a little bit too early. Almost got picked that time. Perfect execution by, by Volterex. Clock moving. Ball at the 38. He'll pick up three. We're under a minute to go in the first half. And Volk right now in field goal range can tie this ball game if he doesn't turn the ball over. And at the oh! scoop of the score but he's going to show those pearly whites after the strip fumble and he user ran in and picked that fumble up himself i'm not going to let the ai kick that around or nothing like that i'm through the gap i'm picking it up and both directs lucky he didn't pick it up to the crib the coach in control he's got three timeouts in 46 seconds and cj will take it to the 42. Well, if your problem, this is a great chance to rise up. If you can go down with this 41 seconds left in the second quarter before half, get the ball at half. But if you could put up a touchdown right here and go up two possessions, you're in prime position to be in complete control in the second half. Volt needs to hold him here. And he'll throw it away. So second and 10 from the 42. With Boswell, he probably needs about seven or eight yards to be comfortable. Yeah, with problem. Well, with that Boswell, you'd be surprised, Coltrane. Think about four yards here. That's in his territory. Five yards. Yeah, especially pretty with good. That, yeah, especially with that focus kicker. Still needs to get that four or five yards, though. 
Rodgers combines pro size. That was nasty. Moves it to the 33, and it's third and one. Still got two timeouts left. I'm never going to question. The way he set that route up was so nasty, Scott. And Procise will take it to the 27, and he'll use his second timeout. One remaining with 19 ticks before the half. This is amazing. This is a biblical drive right now. If problem could get in for a touchdown. And Procise is knocked out of bounds at the 23 yard line. So it's a 40 yarder from there. We'll probably see him take two or three shots at the end zone. Well, look at him getting out of bounds with only one timeout. That's good game management right here for P. Playmakers to the side, nothing there. Throws it to the end zone. And there's CJ Procise on the wheel route. Oh, my goodness. You just don't know what to say about this guy anymore, Coltrane. Calling him the GOAT is getting so old, but this is so impressive. We've never seen someone in Madden football this consistent. Time and time again, he performs on the big stage. If there was a clutch trait, problem would have it times 10. Take a look at it one more time. If it's biblical, problem 316 says, let there be six. And it's that CJ Procise again. If you're at home and you play ultimate team and you're looking for a budget running back, you don't have that many coins to hit the auction house. I think I found your guy. <laughs> There's your guy. Ten point lead now for Volt. You're not safe against Volt here. No. Though. He's got four guys 30 yards from the quarterback. Double coverage. And that's how the half will end. Problem. Doing what he does, causing turnovers. Working the clock, and he's got a 10 point lead over Volt. <laughs> Incredible first half problem coming out showing why he's determined, and there's just something a little different about him. Well, the key to the game was don't give up the big play. He gave up the one big play earlier in the game, and ever since, he's been locking up the run, not letting Chris Johnson get on his horse, and making Volterex pay when he tries that swerve by clicking on and getting that interception. You got to wonder, did that interception mess with Volt's psyche, where he's scared to go back to that? Ten-point game at the half, problem with the lead. Let's go to Dave and the guys. Thank you, fellas. Rico? The GOAT is the GOAT. <laughs> right now, he is showing why he is considered to be the greatest of all time. Volterex knew in that hot seat. RG said he was wondering if that interception affected him. It absolutely did affect him. Even though he threw that to Darius Hayward Bay instead of Randy Moss, you can tell he's been running the ball more, trying to throw some of those other routes. He needs to stick with what got him here. He saw that first play after the stopped run. He was able to score. He's really gotten away from it. He's now playing the name and the game, and problem's a tough one to do it against. Darius Hayward Bay can get his first career touchdown catch later. <laughs> Let's look at the highlights and see how we got into this one. Downfield, this was it. This is the tactic. This is the number one online player. This is the reason he's here. This is how he made it. That's Grandpa Volt. But when you play problem, he plays a well-rounded game. Great response drive. Then he tries to go downfield one more time. You practice, you lab. You build on things that are real football tactics. You eventually have success. Pressure, defense, leads to a great throw down the sideline. That's the problem. Money spot, 17-7. And there it is. There is the bracket. That's what these guys are playing for. The rights to take on Joke in the semis. Skimbo and Spot Me Please also in there. Want to remind everybody at home that you can watch the best FIFA 17 players compete in the Ultimate Team Championship Series Finals live on May 19th and 20th. For more information, visit FUTChampions.com. Also got to remind you that tomorrow is the big one. We've got the semifinals starting at 4 p.m. Eastern and then the live finals at 9 p.m. Eastern. You can watch that on the NFL Network. Guys, real quick before we go to Drea, what are you looking for in the second half? Actually, it's going to be a lot more of what we saw in the first half. The question is, is Volterex able to adapt to problem? If he doesn't take away that seam and that low pass, it's going to be a very long, or should I say, short day for Volt. Championship drive to start it. That's absolutely 100% it. Basics. Just go back to basics. Should be fine. We've got Drea. She is on the field with Problem the Goat. Thank you so much, Problem. You came out. What did you think of your first half performance? You're the greatest of all time. How do you think you've done so far? I, I thought I started off really bad by letting them swerve me 
and get seven, easy seven. I can't give up easy sevens. Mm -hmm. Ever since then, I played a great half. So, you know, it's two halves of football. It's not nowhere near over. I get the ball coming out, just, you know, got to finish the job. You mentioned the swerve. His swerve has gotten a lot of attention through this deep run. What's your assessment of it? He has the best swerve this year. Mm -hmm. It's a great tactic to, you know, get down in the field. It's it's a one play touchdown. If you hesitate one second, you, you click on too late, it could be a touchdown. So he can score in a heartbeat. I got to make sure I, I shorten this half and uh, do, do my best to, to close it out. You closed out the first half with that touchdown. How do you keep the pressure on going into the second half? Uh, play, the, play the same way I played offensively. I don't feel like he could stop me, honestly. Um, offense is really clicking, so hopefully I could just you know keep it up. All right, well, best of luck in the second half. Thank you. All right, let's send it to Scott and RG. Thank you, Drea. In here at halftime, problem with a 10-point lead, and RG, Bolt can score a lot of points, but right now it's been all problem. Yeah, and problems assessment at the halftime, he took all the words right out of my <laughs> mouth. This game is nowhere near over. You're going up against the Phenom Volterex, who at one point was ranked number one and two on the leaderboards, went over to another mode and got ranked one right there. He's one of the best players in the world, and it's going to be important for Problem to come out in this opening drive and go get himself points so he can give himself some cushion against this young Phenom. Well, it's been his user play. He's got an interception. Worked some well with Anthony Barr on a fumble recovery, and he's going to have the ball to start the second half. That's the bad news for Volt. You got to come out, stand up, get in. Turnover of your own. Somehow you got to even up this game. And what scoring on this drive could do for problem, Coltrane, is volt has been very reliant on that Chris Johnson. If you go up and you score a touchdown right here and make it three possessions, that makes it harder for volt Rex to get Chris Johnson involved in the game because the clock's no longer his friend. Big hit there by Brian Dawkins, Weapon X. You know why they call him Weapon X? Because he's a beast. That's the code name for Wolverine. Marvel Comics, maybe you've heard of him. Wolverine. Logan, Logan was a good movie, yeah. huh? Are we going to start a podcast? Movie reviews with Scott and RG? That'd be fun. I've been meaning to get on a podcast. We should now probably stick to food. Something we know. Food podcast? All right, well, let's we'll get back it. to the game. <laughs> First and ten. <laughs> trying to distract you. And look how masterful problem is. He knows that this game... He needs to Ooh. kill that clock, and he's winding that play clock down. Oh Nobody is better so at cool. controlling the clock than Problem, though he did take a mean hit right there. He needs to avoid that. I think, Volt, you got to think, and every hit's got to be a hit stick. I got to cause a fumble or an interception on this drive. Second and 13. Problem loves the deep route to Moss and then the underneath route to the B-wide receiver. And there is the... Ooh. The playmaker, and I thought we had a big hit. Notice how he brought him across the middle, made his user move, and then just playmaker to Johnson. Yeah, that's why you want that playmaker ability active, and that's why we tell you when that's active or not, because it can be the difference in those first downs. Now watch him come out here, Scott, and run this ball and kill this clock. Look at him. No one's better at clock management than problem. Procise. That's a bad run. It's my fault. Bam. Says it's a bad on, run man. and he picks up four. <laughs> I must be really bad. Oh, well, man. he saw that there was a running lane there, and he's someone oh. that understands you need to maximize your opportunity. So when he doesn't do that, he's frustrated, even if it was for a positive game. Final game of the day. Three players have already punched their ticket. It'll be a skimbo and spot me. They'll start it off at four o'clock tomorrow, and then joke and problem. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> well, we don't know. Don't count out young Volty. Boy, I forgot about the. Him and Grandpa Volt. They're not giving up anytime soon. If there's an announcer's curse, the movement will be coming from me. Third and six. And Volt's a guy that can put up 30 points in a RB. He's got him. Big hit. Boy, Dawkins is doing work here in the second half. He's been in on almost every play. And this is a big victory for Voltex. Volterex, the whole problem to three right here because he's still only got a two possession ball game and we know how fast Volt can put up points. This is going to be a defining possession of this game right here. Voltex is one of those fake Rolex watches. Yeah, my, my fault, my fault. You're like, oh, check out, oh, this is a Voltex. 
First and ten. You get too excited up here, Coltrane. <laughs> no. I love it. I love it. I feed off of it. Did you say feed? I did. Sorry about that. Twenty to seven is the score. Two, still a two possession game. Bolt's gonna need some magic. Yeah, he's gonna motion Moss, and Moss is going right up here. And then if you're problem, that's who you gotta oh, run boy. with. What the fuck? Oh my Harrison goodness! Smith. Second oh, INT today by Harrison Smith. Oh my goodness. And Bolter, Grandpa Bolt said he's gonna live and die by that swerve. And it's all fun and games to run an exploit like that until you go up against a real deal Madden player, the greatest of all time, Eric Problem Wright. And you heard him turn to Volt and drop the S-bomb. He said, get that swerve out of here. And you need to understand, Problem's a guy that's been dealing with exploits and competitive Madden for over a decade, and he constantly knows how to find ways to counter those exploits and fight against them. He's not a guy that's going to complain about that stuff. He's going to find a solution to it and figure out how to stop it, and that's what you're seeing right now from the GOAT. He also might use Gronk on a fullback dive. First and ten. Hey, by any means necessary. With this much cash on <laughs> yeah. the line, as long as Whatever it's within it the as long as it's within the rules. Yep. By any means necessary, Scott. One hundred percent agree. Boys Second and seven, and that's why you know Trey asked him about the swerve. Says he's the best at that tacking. Yes. But there was no complaining. Yes. Just locked in. Said he's the best at it. And I want to try to stop it, and he has so far. Look at this again. Clock management is just biblical. You fall forward, gain of zero. So third and seven in field goal range. Still be a two score game yeah. with a field goal, but it would be a full 16. Yeah, you need to get two point, two two point conversions if you're bold. Bad, old, bad man. Bad. Avoided the sack though. And so here's the field goal once again. The worst thing about those incomplete passes for problem at this point is they stop the clock. And we're only in the third quarter. Again, both directs is just too explosive to be giving them that much time. Sure, you're intercepting that swerve, but like problem said at halftime, all it takes is for your reflexes to be a middle of a second off, and it could be a crib shot. And on that last swerve, he was hit. As he threw. Yeah, the throw was I know great. he's got gunslinger, but that one came out like a duck. Yeah, that's a good point, Coltrane. It was underthrown, made it easy for problem to strafe up, get to the landing spot and make a play. He's gonna go right back to it. He's gonna motion in Randy, send him up, try to get it, get swervy. Still just two possessions. Full 16, and this time you can see it. Goes right back to it, ball at the 42. But that's still risky. Problem was strafed up with that 97 overall Harrison Smith, and that was a jump ball again that could have been intercepted. Volts playing with fire. McNabb got to get rid of it. He'll throw it away, and that's an intentional grounding. That'll be a spot foul, lost the ball. And you see those intentional groundings when you send everyone vertical, because when the quarterback throws the ball out of bounds, there's no receiver in that direction. Come on, Harris. Ten-yard penalty, time, loss of down. So 39 seconds to go. It's second and 20. He's screaming. He's back on the other side of the 50. Here comes this goon right here. Even three points on this drive would maybe get some momentum going. And that's just, just a bit too far for Randy Moss. Third and 20. What a defensive performance thus far by problem. As the magic finally ran out on the swerve. I mean, it's looking like it. And you got to remember, Volterex was number one in points per game, number one in pass yards per game, number one in passing yards per attempt when on the ladder. And problems is containing all of that thus far in this game. Get him. Third and 20. No. Has time. Throws it up and Thank over. You. And you, you know what, problem? Uh, you know what, Scott, is yeah. we always we find ourselves up here and we end up having to throw all this homage at problem. 
people like, man, why do they always ride this guy? He is constantly giving us reasons to throw him homage. I want to throw homage to anybody. You just need to make it here and give me a reason to do so. You can call me problem. We both have beards. The only difference is I'm terrible at Madden. <laughs> I'm actually okay. You're all right. <laughs> I'm all right. Play. Yeah. Not bad. Fourth and 20. Throws it over there. Single coverage, and Conley gets his feet in bounds. That was huge. And that's frustrating for a problem. Conley burning Deion Sanders on that one. And look at this perfect pass by Volterex. And it was because Deion was pressing. Deion's not a press type corner that you want out there. Throw here over the middle. And hey, the former Maryland Terrapin, Fear the Turtle. And that's all before the third quarter even ended. And this two-point conversion is going to be huge, Coltrane. This is big. Trailing by 10. Trying to make it a one-score game. You got to watch the fullback dive if you're problem. He's got Chris Johnson in that fullback. That should be a red flag. No! And he is blown up on the two-point conversion. That was humongous because it keeps it a two possession ball game. What a defensive play. That was huge. That was a big momentum play for Problem. He lost some momentum and he got it all right back. Stuffs him on the two point. So it's a 10 point game. Look at it again. Fullback dive. And Harrison Smith is everywhere. He's, he took the words right out of my <laughs> mouth. Harrison Smith is giving problem his cap's worth so far in this tournament, especially in this game. Hands it off to CJ Procise, and that'll take us to the fourth quarter. Put your fours up. Five minutes separates problem from the semifinals. And here's the thing, problem's gotten the stops that he's needed. If you're both the Rex, you need to get yourself a takeaway. And we gave you all his offensive stats. He was number one in takeaways on the ladder. So he's due. You know how crazy that is, Coltrane, Ooh. this night? You wonder why we call him a phenom. <laughs> to be number one in all of those impressive passing yeah. stats on the ladder where millions of people play and then also be number one in takeaways amongst all of these competitors, it's, it's insane. Very impressive. Ten-point game, third and two, quick throw. Julio gains two, but yes, it was the first down. That's a big Huge. first down, and what that first down does is guarantee problem that he can take a minute and 30 off of this clock right here. See if he goes to the ground or the air. Guarantee you, Scott, you have about eight to nine seconds at the least before problem snaps this ball. Hang out for a little bit. Let's switch it up, go up under center. Running every second off that clock. Might have been able to run up the gut. He tried to cut it back and it ends up gaining zero yards. This is where I think problem needs another formation he can run the ball out of. When Volterex sees that single back tight formation, he knows that dive's coming and he's ready to shoot the gap and cause a fumble. If your problem, you can't get too one dimensional with that play. Second and 10. Has Johnson wide open and Night Train won't catch him. Oh my goodness. If you're Luminosity Gaming, you got to go. You got to be hit happy in sponsoring that guy, Easy. huh? Oh, it's a Reynolds. <laughs> this is insane. You got one guy in his own coverage against two red receivers. <laughs> Forget about it. There's so few times in life where you get to see someone be the greatest the at something. No, it no, doesn't no, happen no, often, no, Scott. No, no, no. And in Madden, we're fortunate enough where there is somebody that is just blatantly the greatest. Here we go. 30 to 13. End the game, buddy. End the game, buddy. One time. Don't let him get you. Good play. As a man open but can't get his feet in bounds, Conley right, steps out. Some sneak dissers. And if your problem, you got to watch out. That's a hole in that defense right there. Conley was wide open, just not able to execute. That's the play he converted the fourth down on, on that touchdown drive. Now trails by 17. So a three, 
possession game. McNabb throws this and one up and hits. Yes! Oh! In the game. Oh! Oh! In the game. Oh! Bam. Wow. Y'all let this shit pop you. Oh! <laughs> He's here, problem. He's talking to the community oh! and the rest of the players. He said, You let this pop you? Let me show you how to adjust one time. <laughs> adjust and adapt. And pro size. Let's go. We'll take it after the turnover. Boy, Harrison Smith, three interceptions, and he had a big stop on a two-point conversion. We weren't joking when he said he is all over the field today, huh? Not the guy you want to be trying. And props to Problem for not running to guard that himself. He had faith where he could you take a future defender, guard other routes, and he had faith in being able to click onto that Harrison Smith and be able to force turnovers. We haven't seen anyone be able to do that yet in this tournament, but Everett Wright's obviously special when it comes to playing this game of John Madden football. Volterax's only loss of the tournament was the Boogs by a touchdown in the group stages. And Big four. Bolt's gonna get the ball back. And for those wondering, Scott, what he's doing is when the ball goes up, a lot of people just like to hold that Y button. Oh, that and that really leaves them vulnerable stupid. to get in swerved. What Problem does is he clicks onto the defender, Damn, doesn't down. hold Y, moves the, life, the left stick towards the ball landing spot, strafes, and then press Y at the last minute. And that's how he's able oh. to counteract that swerve exploit. And a gorgeous punt goes out of bounds at the six yard line. And to be honest, He's played his best football that I've seen in probably three or four years in this game. And he's riding that momentum of the mo one of the most amazing games we saw yesterday against Sirius Mo. Went 3-0 and in the group stages, beat scheming little man and drag, and he beat Sirius Mo in an instant classic yesterday. Yeah, so this will be five in a row and potentially going to get matched up against Joke, who's also on his own five game winning streak as well. Yeah, no potential about it. He'll face Joke if he can hold on. Skimbo spot me, Joke. And it's looking like it's going to be a problem. So bad, man. Those will be the four so remaining. Bad. Look at this, and we can't take anything away from Volterex. This was a young no. man what a run. who was a phenom. He played within the rules this year. He, uh, at, a lot of at a lot at the beginning of the year, people looked at him as a villain. Now he has the Volt army. Yeah. We got to know him as a person, like you said. He has Grandpa Volt, who's just so inspiring to all of us. Volt's gotten a ton of respect this year. I thought the key to this game was not only as you see Grandpa Volt there, and he's going to be, and he's going to be happy for his grandkid no matter what, and proud of Volterex. He's come out here and put on a phenomenal performance. He doubled up his winnings, and Harrison Smith the clinic. makes it the fourth user pick by Harrison Smith alone. Harrison Smith. <laughs> Let him know, P. Not laughing at the INT, laughing at the reaction. And, and Volt doubled up his winnings coming here. And he, he took a tough road, and the key to me in this game, as you see five turnovers for Volt, the key for me, RG, is Volt had a lot of success in this tournament running the football, having big plays. You know, everyone talks about the swerve, but it was those big runs by Chris Johnson that kept the defense guessing. This game problem really hasn't had a guess. Yeah, and you got to tip your hat off to Drini and Blocky for hitting the lab for him yesterday, flying in some defense, and that's one of the benefits of keeping a camp and a crew around you. Preparation is as important as anything when you come to high level mat when it comes to high level Madden, and having the right people to prepare with is key. Yeah, preparation. We hit it time and time again, and these guys spend hours all year to get to this point. While well, everybody else in California is swimming at the pool and going to the beaches, these guys are up in their rooms laving. They're in the players' lounge laving, and here you can hear problems, fans, and and a lot of that applause is for Volterax as well for the incredible run. Good guy. Look at this.
Oh, that's awesome. The 19-year-old Volta Rex, what an impressive season. Just get 19. Us, yeah, get Just some 19. words of encouragement from the grizzled veteran, Eric Problem Wright. And this is just insane, Scott, the fact that he's able to still do this on this level after over a decade. This is truly something special in esports, and boy, does competitive gaming for Madden have a superstar and Eric problem right. When I was 19, Xbox didn't even exist. <laughs> exactly. So a lot of a great future ahead of all tracks. Let's go down to Trey on the field. Thanks, Scott. Problem, congratulations. How were you able to so successfully shut down the swerve today? I felt like I would, you know, be able to click on and make plays. I don't know what I was thinking to start the game by bringing my safety down, honestly. Mm -hmm. Just let him sit back there and I can catch it. So Harrison Smith, best safety I've played with all year. Someone I just stuck with all year. So, you know, he made four interceptions. You know, that's, that's, that's big. Scott was saying that this is the best Madden game that he's seen you play in the last four years. What's your reaction to that? That's a good game. <laughs> it was a good game. I, I mean, I probably played um, pretty pretty good on both sides. I, yeah, I guess that, that would be up there for sure. You know, I played pretty flawless on on defense outside of that first play. Mm -hmm. And offensively, I felt like I was able to do what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. he, he came up big with some stops in the he second did. half as far as, like, stopping the run, making me pass a little bit. So, you know, I felt like I, I handled it well, though. Heading into the semifinals, you're going to be facing Joke. He's on a tear right now. What's your reaction to that matchup? Uh, it's just another person that, you know, I have to play in the yeah. tournament. Yeah, and, and, you know, he's a good player. Everyone here is, is great, actually. You know, and I'm just here to, you know, knock them all off and, and win the championship. Last one. I mean, I know you've been through a lot of great moments in your career. What is it about this advancing today that stands out amongst all your other great moments? Uh, they're, they're all special in their own way. Yeah, they're all special. You know, um, I have... A lot of respect for him, you know, Volt, his game, as far as, like, him able to just use that and be able to beat everyone, it's, it's pretty impressive. I, you know, and uh, I was kind of, you know. He mastered uh, it. Yeah, he mastered mm -hmm. it. And I was kind of, you know, um, thinking about it before the game. I was like, well, will I actually be able to stop it? And once I saw I was able to pick it off one time, I knew I'd be able to get it every time. Once you got in the zone, you were in the zone. Well, problem, congratulations. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. See you. All right. Well, let's send it to Dave, Rico, and Zach. All right.